They are the descendants of the Sishak nation that inhabited this coastline thousands of years ago. They are on a spiritual and cultural journey. This inlet was home to over 100,000 people. Smallpox and residential schools ripped apart their society and culture. The children of this generation are on a voyage of discovery to see firsthand the land of their ancestors. Um, you know, when I went to the residential school, I thought my disconnection was from all the damage that I received in the residential school, but I now know that it was a loss of my language and my culture. It's very important to our leadership and our elders to teach the history and the language to our younger generations so the children of the Seashot Nation know where they're from. So we're reconnecting with not only our land, our language, but all the villages, all the resources in our territory that sustained our people for thousands of years. It means a lot for me being young and never having to really come up here before. When I look at these areas, I imagine what our people would have been like over here. Our longhouses, our families, our canoes. <laughs> Can I get a little emotional? During the spring season, the uh, elderly ladies used to climb the mountains to gather the mountain goat fur because the mountain goat fur was shedding. So they'd go out and gather amongst the bushes and gather up all the mountain fur and that's how they made their, their clothing. 